Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today we're running the Amateur Championship here in Boonville, Arkansas for the Irish Setter National. Um, we have a lot of dogs today. Alright, so we're going to have Griffin, Cooler, Kane, Trip, who qualified, Neo qualified also, but we're not going to run her because... She doesn't need to be running an hour stake right now because she's pregnant. So um, we left her out of this event. Um, Reason. <whistles> Delta and Grit will be running. So stay tuned and we, we got a lot of dogs running. Let's go. Let's go get some, some more of these ribbons. Okay, first up to start us off on this National Amateur Championship, we have a cooler. The temperature is about 75 degrees, so it's pretty hot. Weather conditions are pretty much no wind. If you guys watched the other videos, Boonville is kind of in a drought this year, and so everything's pretty dry and the bird numbers are low so the only dogs of ours that made it around with bird work is cooler delta and reason so you guys will see the other two dogs coming up soon if you guys didn't notice we've been dedicating this video series to our horse melody which we end up losing in two days and as you can see i'm riding her right now this is the last time i got to ride her and scout off of her You guys can hear that smacking noise it's kind of funny whenever you ride her she would jump on that bit and make that funny noise it's kind of her trademark So Cooler's acting a little weird like he doesn't quite have the scent right here and Kelly wants to relocate him to try to get him on the bird a little bit better and that's why she said she's going to relocate him and then he kind of tightens up right here and Kelly decides to flush.
because she's been riding so hard. I got water too, by the way. What? I got water too. Go ahead and, um, why don't I continue to do this and you put your water on my saddle and then I will give you this when I'm done watching. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Shouldn't have done that. We really make it a point to water our dogs quite a bit in this hour stake, especially with the temperature as it is, like I mentioned earlier. Cooler standing pretty solid on point right here, and we've actually found birds in this location before, so there's a good chance there could be birds in there. But um, Kelly's searching around trying to find them, and uh, unfortunately, doesn't end up finding them. And we take a non productive right here. You ready? You want to relocate? If not, it's time to pick up. So next up we have Reason and so much happened during this brace. Unfortunately my SIM card got completely full on footage and I ran out of storage space and this was the only footage I got from this brace. About the uh, 25 minute mark Reason had a find and it was in some really thick brush and she ended up relocating her twice because she knew the birds were there um, she could hear them and eventually uh, Kelly caught up with the birds and was able to flush them and get a protective bird find out of it 
And the rest of the brace, she was always forward, uh, ran really big, and did what she was supposed to do. Definitely the things you want to see a bird dog do at these trials. Unfortunately, at the 50-minute mark, my horse tripped and sent me flying over the front end and threw me into a rock road. I landed on my bicep, which drove into my ribs and cracked them. The way that I fell is almost an exact repeat of how I fell last year. Let's go ahead and show that clip real quick to give you guys an idea on how I fell. At that point, they stopped the field trial and all the attention was put on me, unfortunately. I just wanted Kelly to keep going and running her dog because I, I knew I'd I just had a cracked rib and that's probably all it was but um, everybody was worried and so they paused the event they they paused the trial at the 50 minute mark and I ended up going to the hospital and Kelly uh, started the trial back up with 10 minutes left with her opponent reason went on in that last 10 minutes and had a stopped flush but the judge called it a non-event because time was called. It's the following day and next up we have Delta. I'm out of commission and I can't ride a horse because of my cracked ribs. So a friend of ours stepped up to the plate here and ended up scouting for Kelly and for Delta. And... Uh, he was kind enough to uh, strap a GoPro on his head, so we were very grateful for that. And uh, it made for some some pretty funny footage. <laughs> uh, for the most part, I'm not going to share it all with you. It's way too much footage. But um, he did a lot of riding through the woods with Delta. But she always managed to end up up front and uh, did a pretty good job on this brace. So... Let's see how she did. Point! Point, Kelly! Kelly, point! Point over here, Judge! Right here. Right on the other side of the trees. clicked it. No, it just went that way.
this was the last known location that we saw Delta before time was called in about two minutes. And after time was called, we had about approximately eight minutes to try to find Delta and produce her to the judge. If she wasn't found in approximately eight minutes, then she would be disqualified. The scramble began uh, looking for her, and Tyler and Kelly are really looking hard for her. Kelly's screaming her lungs out. After a while, the, the gallery ends up screaming that the dog's up front, and she finished to the front, and we got her before time was up. So all a pretty crazy ending scenario. Like I mentioned, they had about eight minutes to find Delta, and they ended up finding her up front where she was supposed to be with about two minutes left on the timer. Poor Biscuit is like, what do? Hey, he does really good back there. Good. Is everybody in their places? Wait, who are we looking at? All of at them. me. Okay. Yeah. Donna has the one that's going in the memo and on the website. So the closest Kelly, one. you're talking. <laughs> what? That would be normal. <laughs> Sorry. I okay, just it. keep looking at me and just keep shooting. You guys look great. Congratulations, everyone. We, we took about 10, okay, so. That's great. Okay, you know, very one very nice. or just one? one. There you have it. Delta got first place, and we were pretty shocked by the results, but uh, pretty crazy scenario. Delta's only two years old, and she won her first national championship, so we are ecstatic about that. We can't be more thrilled than we are right now, and, and we're really doing a great job at this national, and, and as you can see from all those ribbons, we're, we're having a lot of fun next video coming up is the ISCA National Walking Championship and unfortunately uh, this was the day we lost Melody and uh, these are the last videos that we uh, have her on camera so we just wanted to say that we we miss her a lot make sure you stay tuned for the next adventure and make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and I will see you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep field trialing.